Annyeong! Today we're going to learn to make sentences about places. Remember in Korean sentences, we have things called particles. And for places, we use the particle E. This is like at, to, and from in English. So today we're going to learn how to use these. Let's go! Let's look at the first meaning of E. It is like at in English. It's the case when you're talking about something or someone existing in the place. For example, in the sentence, I live in Korea. Then you would use this E. Remember I said that E sticks behind the place. So here you would say, 저는 한국에 살아요. 한국에 살아요. Well, you can also change the place or the country by replacing 한국. For example, you can say, 저는 필리핀에 살아요. Or, 저는 인도에 살아요. Let's practice with a few more examples. For example, the question, Where is your family? Then you would say, 가족은 어디에 있어요? Literally, in Korean, the translation is At where is your family? 가족은 어디에 있어요? So here, 에 sticks behind the word where. 어디에? The answer to this question would be My family is in France. In Korean, you can say 가족은 프랑스에 있어요. 가족은 프랑스에 있어요. Let's try one more example. This time, instead of in or at, we're going to say on. The computer is on the des desk. As this is also talking about place, we still use e. Remember, in our Korean vocabulary playlist, we learned about directions and prepositions? For on, we say we. So we say, 컴퓨터는 책상 위에 있어. 위에. That becomes up on the desk. Second meaning of a is to in English. It's when you're talking about something or someone moving towards something else. For example, the sentence, I go to school. That would be, 저는 학교에 가요. Here you're moving towards school, so you use e. 저는 학교에 가요. Where are you going? 어디 가요? I go to school. 저는 학교에 가요. The third meaning of e is at as in time. For example, what do you do in the evening? 저녁에 뭐 해요? 저녁에 뭐 해요? Another example. I eat meal or I eat dinner in the evening. 저녁에 밥을 먹어요. 저녁에 밥을 먹어요. Here we say 밥 for dinner or meal. But actually, 밥 means the rice, cooked rice. But as in Korea, our main meal is rice, we say 밥 for meal. Let's keep on practicing. The question, what do you do at 10 o'clock? 10시에 뭐해요? 10시에 뭐해요? 10시에 뭐해요? Next example. I wake up at 10 o'clock. Again, 저는 10시에 일어나요. 저는 
10시에 일어나요. Now let's try to make the sentence a little more complex. So we're going to put both at and to in one sentence. And remember, both are going to be used by e. In this case, let's try. I go to school at one o'clock. 저는 한시에 학교에 가요. 저는 한시에 학교에 가요. See here, we used two s in one sentence. That is still possible. You can also switch the order of the time and the place. So you can also say, 저는 학교에 한시에 가요. Now we're going to look at the marker 에서. 에서. 에서 has two meanings. First is at and second is from. But at here is different from the at that we used for 에. Remember for a, it used to be when you're existing in the place. But for a에서, it's when you do the action in the place. So whether to use a or a에서 depends on the verb in the sentence. Let's look at example. For example, let's see the case when the verb in the sentence is do. Do is an action verb. So, for the sentence, what do you do at home? In Korean, becomes 집에서 뭐해요? 집에서 뭐해요? Another example, which is an answer to this question, is I sleep at home. Sleep is again a, an action verb. So you use 에서. 저는 집에서 자요. 저는 집에서 자요. Let's try more examples. The sentence. Now let's change the subject. This time the subject is a person called Manash. What does Manash do at home? You simply change the subject. Manash이는 집에서 뭐해요? The answer. Now, Manash is going to be watching TV. Manash watches TV at home. Manash이는 집에서 TV를 봐요. Manash이는 집에서 TV를 봐요. So again, E and ESO are both used for at, but E is when the verb is about existence, not about moving, whereas ESO is when the verb is action, when you're actually moving. For example, I live in Korea. Was 저는 한국에 살아요? Because here, living, the verb, just refers to existence rather than a specific movement. However, the sentence I sleep at home, the verb sleep is an action verb. So you use 에서. 저는 집에서 자요. The second meaning of 에서 was from. When you or somebody else is moving from something. For example, where did you come from? Or where do you come from? 어디에서 왔어요? 어디에서 왔어요? I came from India. 인도에서 왔어요. 인도에서 왔어요. I came from home. 집에서 왔어요. 집에서 왔어요. Where does the airplane depart from? 비행기는 어디에서 출발해요? 비행기는 어디에서 출발해요? 
The airplane departs from Korea. 비행기는 한국에서 출발해요. 비행기는 한국에서 출발해요. So, today we learned how to make sentences about places using the two markers 에 and 에서. The marker 에 is for three uses. First is at, existing in the place. Like 가족은 프랑스에 있어요. The second use, to, moving towards something. 저는 학교에 가요. And the third use, at as in time. 저는 한시에 학교에 가요. And the marker 에서 was for two uses. The first one is again at. However, for this, it was when the verb refers to an action in the place. For example, 저는 집에서 TV를 봐요. You're watching the TV. The second use is from. You're moving from something. For example, 집에서 왔어요. Or, or, 비행기는 한국에서 출발해요. That's it for today's lesson. See you next time. 안녕!